Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are here on Call of the Wild the Angler, which finally released on console August 30th, which was actually yesterday when you're going to see this video. So yeah, I'm actually kind of excited to play this game. I must admit, I'm not the biggest fan of fishing games, so it's going to be interesting to see like how this goes and whatnot. Um, but I have already went ahead and played through the tutorial and also did a couple of challenges just to kind of get my feet wet and see um, how this game was going to perform and just like the mechanics and stuff like that. I wanted to learn how to play before I just jumped right in. So here we are, um, let's see, I think we'll just kind of get right into things. We do have some challenges that we already have, so we can go to the journal here, and then let's see, I'm still trying to learn everything as well, so there's still going to be a lot of learning. But we have the Diamond's Peak Fishing Challenge, um, Silver 1, we have to catch a Silver Rank Sturgeon. We have the Diamond's Peak um, Map Challenge 1, that is for uh, to find like the map location. This one we have to find the photo location. So we have that stuff, and then here's the bulletin board, which actually has another challenge on it. So this is the um, Silver Fishing Challenge. We'll go ahead and accept that. So catch a Silver Rank um, Burbot. I think we'll go ahead and just do that one. It really doesn't matter too much. I was looking through um, the handbook here just to see like what the sturgeon, like its traits are and stuff like that. Um, the traits, um, it's a bottom lurker. Prefer, prefers swimming closer to the bottom. Hard fighter, tries its best to get off the hook. It's a jumper. Um, so it likes to jump out of the water, and then it's a night owl, so more active at night. I'm not sure how to um, reset the time just yet. I don't know if there's a spot over here at this um, little area that I just haven't seen to where I can reset the time, but I'm sure we can find an outpost that will allow us to do that. So the other one was a burbok. Um, let's see. There it is right there. Burbot, I should say. Um, the bait and lure preference, I really like that they show all that. So you can do liver, shad, or the red worm, and its traits are a bottom lurker and also a night owl. So we might need to reset the time tonight if we are going to um, fish for these. So here are the fish that I've actually already caught. We have the smallmouth bass. Um, we've caught, I think, two of these, I want to say. One was in the tutorial and one was on one of the challenges. My best score is a 563. We've also caught a black crappie. Um, the best score was a 52. And I've also caught one of these, a mountain white fish. That was the best score of one. So this was actually the first fish that we caught. It was in the tutorial. Um, but yeah, I really like the way that they lay all this out. You get all the information, your best scoring ones. And there's 21 fish species here on Golden Ridge Reserve. I think that's the name of the reserve anyway. Um, so that's pretty cool. We are gonna go ahead and just jump right into things. Let's see if we can just maybe do some fishing at first. We'll just go see what we can catch. And then if we can, we'll reset the time and we'll do some of these challenges. Okay guys, so as I got over here onto the dock, one of my missions popped up. It's the Taylor's Tackle Academy Beginner Class 1. I got this mission off of the bulletin board as well. But basically it's gonna it's kind of like a tutorial. It's gonna go through everything we really need to know. So we need to catch a fish using a blood worm. We can actually go into our journal here and we can look a little bit more into this um, mission. So this class will cover float fishing, bait and hook depth. The lesson will continue when you reach the mark location. So we've done that and now we need to catch a fish, like it said, using the blood worm. So we'll go ahead and get our rod out. You can see over here on the right, we can actually change the depth of the um, hook and everything. We can go all the way down to 1.4 or we can bring it back up here to like 0 0.1. So I think we'll keep it at like 0 0.4. Um, down there in the bottom left hand corner, we have the drag and everything. We'll just keep it at 30. But here if we press LB, we have our baits and then we have our rod as well as some stuff I'm guessing for like multiplayer and stuff. We have the flash art right there. We already have the blood worm. We also have eggs minnows, pearl barley, and then hot dogs. So let's go ahead and get this cast out there and let's see if we can catch something. So I gotta admit, I'm not the best caster right now. Still trying to learn everything, but since we have a float on there, we're just gonna kind of leave it out there and see what we can get. And one thing I really like is you can actually toggle focus here and we actually have a bite as I'm talking about that. But what I was talking about is basically you can zoom in and we're gonna go ahead and try and get this thing reeled in. So right now the drag is pretty perfect. Um, if that red bar goes all the way to the, like, the end right there, or if it like circles around, um, you're going to pretty much break your line. But right now we're getting this fish in, and that was really simple. So this is just going to be a little black crappie. Um, the weight is 0 0.10 kg. Length is 13.08 centimeters. Um, so the score is 11. So not our best one, um, but we got it with the blood worm, and it only took 16 seconds, so that wasn't bad whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and release it. Right now they don't have like any trophy lodges, so we can't keep it. So we will go ahead and do that. So yeah, that was actually pretty um, simple. So the hook depth is a measure of the distance between the float and the hook. It can be changed before casting by using um, the D-pad, so up and down. Hook depth, a lower hook depth um, allows bait to reach slightly deeper areas in the water, luring out fish that are swimming deeper or hiding out in the nooks and crannies. So yeah, if we actually go into our um, like the profile here and everything, go to the handbook, it'll show you like their traits. So like some of these are gonna be fish that are like in lower depths of the water so i think the sturgeon was one of them i was looking at it is a bottom lurker so prefers swimming closer to the bottom 
so you can see like that would be that would come in handy with the um the hook depth and everything so hook depth set the hook depth lower so we'll go ahead and just do that um looks like we just need to do that three times set the hook depth higher so then we need to move it back up or i guess yeah move it back up here um and yeah that was pretty simple so we both figure all that out like if we need to lower it and raise it up just depends on what we're fishing for catch a fish by the float fishing so let's go ahead and do it a little bit um deeper this time so we'll go to one point or one meter right there and let's get her cast out there okay guys we've got another strike here so um yeah seems like this one's gonna be a pretty easy easy to actually reel in you can see it's already getting closer to us at that 0 0.7 now it's starting to kind of go back out there um but we shouldn't really have to adjust the drag any we can lower it maybe just a little bit and we already have it right here so we'll secure our catch Let's go ahead and see what this is. So this is going to be a new um, species that we've got here. A yellow perch. It's a silver. Um, let's see. Bloodworm times 16 seconds. So that didn't take long at all. And the score is 665. So if you did hear that over there, I did just get an achievement. I don't know if it'll pick up on the mic. Um, but we did just get an achievement to catch a silver ranked fish. So this is our first silver. So yeah, pretty cool. Let's see. Can we toggle the UI here? We actually can. And we can get just like a screenshot and stuff. I'll do that because I'm going to have to get thumbnails and everything. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get this one released as well. And then we'll just kind of continue with the tutorial here. So the next class, well done. You've learned about float fishing, baits, and hook depth. The next class covers hook sizes and building your own rig. It will be available upon complete, completion of a challenge. So we did that. We're also level 3 now. So we have 100 XP. And I'm guessing with leveling up, we're going to get like new tackle, um, rods, reels, that sort of stuff. So now we got to catch five fish. So let's move on to a different area. I'm going to get into the car and I want to just kind of explore a little bit. Let's go over here to this lookout tower. I've been in this area before, um, but let's get over here and we'll maybe hunt like this region. Not hunt, but fish. You know what I mean? Still in the mindset of playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. We are now over here in the area that I was talking about. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of cast out and see what we maybe can catch. So I think I am going to lower the line just a bit, maybe to like 0 0.8 and that should be good. So I thought about maybe going to the shop and getting some more like baits and stuff, maybe some lures, but I think we'll just stick with this stuff for now and see what we can kind of catch. And we have got a fish on right now, so it's coming in pretty quickly. I was actually watching a video on my phone when um, we got the strike, so I had to pause that really quickly. Um, but there we have it. So this guy is going to be a green sunfish. This is another new one that we've yet to catch. It is a juvenile, so score of just one. Not very big whatsoever, um, but 16 seconds once again. Um, the traits there, we can't actually look at those from here. Um, but just a little fish, nothing crazy about him. So let's see, I think I'm actually going to switch our baits up just a bit. We need to catch five fish, um, as it says up there in the top left-hand corner. So let's use um, the five baits that we have. So now we'll do the eggs, and let's see we can, what we can catch on these. And here we go once again, got another bite. So looks like they're biting pretty quickly over here. Um, the drag is really good on this one, so it's probably a smaller fish, I'd have to guess. Um, right now he's at 1.1 meters. Um, yeah, he's just kind of right there, but he's going to be coming in now, so he's not going to be too terribly big, as you can see right there. And we've got this little guy, so it's going to be a green sunfish once again, but this time it is a bronze, so score is 57. It took us 14 seconds to get him in, and we got him on the eggs. So it looks like we're also leveling up our rods there in our reel. I'm not sure if that's what's happening, but you can see it's at 14%, and it's going up with an arrow, so maybe that's what it is. I really don't know. Um, let me know down in the comments, by the way, if you have any tips and tricks about this game. I can take all the um, tips and stuff that I can get because, yeah, I'm going to be learning as I kind of go along here. So let's go ahead and switch to another bait. We'll use the minnows this time. So I've used the blood worms, the eggs, and the minnows. I've yet to actually use the pearl barley or the hot dogs. So I can't wait to try those out. And here we go. We're getting another bite. And so far, the striking has been pretty simple. And once again, this is going to be a bit of a smaller fish. So no need to adjust the drag or anything. And there we have it. So another little sunfish. It's another green one. And 15 seconds on that one. We got him with the minnow. So we'll just keep getting these. Um, the score is 61. So let's release him. Let's switch to the next bait. But yeah, this area seems pretty good for the green sunfish. And um, right now we do have the pearl barley on. We haven't used that yet. So let's adjust this all the way to 1.4. I'm just kind of testing everything out as we kind of go along here. So let's do that. It'll be at a um, deeper depth. So we can see if maybe we catch something else or maybe we just get another sunfish. There we go with another bite. So they've been biting pretty quickly. I would say that one probably took the longest out of all the um, fish that we've caught so far. Um, but once again, it's looking like it's probably another small one. Um, but he's at 1.0, 0.9. He's going to be coming in pretty quickly here. So we might actually end up moving areas here in a second just so we can probably catch something else. What is this guy? He is a little bit different. He's a yellow perch. Um, he's a bronze. Um, time was 16 seconds. So it looks like we're catching him right, the right around the same time. 
his score is 411 so we'll get him released and let's just stay here and cast out one more time with the um hot dogs i think it is we'll get the hot dogs out we'll use that and then we'll just start moving around a little bit well after we see what our next challenge is so let's keep it at 0 0.2 this time just kind of switch things up and we'll see what we catch we do have another one right here this one isn't putting up much of a fight either so we already got it in and it's going to be another little yellow perch um, with the hot dog 14 seconds and the score is 195 on this one so we'll get him released and we'll go ahead and see what our next challenge is going to be so we've caught five fish go to the challenge board so we got to drive all the way well, actually we can just fast travel i was going to say we don't really need to fast or drive all the way over there we can just fast travel um so let's go ahead and zoom in so i can get it right there on it and yeah let's go ahead and jump over here Okay guys, so as I went over there to the bulletin board, the mission had wrapped up. It didn't give us a new one or anything like that, but we did get some new equipment. So we can go ahead and take a look at our backpack here. We got the Maiden Rod, um, so it's just slightly better than the one that we have right now. So I think we'll switch to it. And you can see we have 52% on the Mastery, so that's why it was like leveling up and stuff. We also got a new reel, so this one is the Tyro. It's just slightly better than this one. Might as well go ahead and use it as well. And then we also got some new tackle and stuff. So yeah, I want to go ahead and go to the shop really quickly and just kind of see what we might be able to buy. We don't have a lot of coins or anything. We have 339. Then you can see we have those medals down there. So if I'm not mistaken, that is for the gold, the diamond, and the legendary fish. I don't know a whole lot about it, but I'd heard some people talking about that stuff. So I'm not exactly sure what that'll get us once we start getting those type of bigger fish. But let's go into the equipment and let's see what we might be able to get. So we have the maiden already. I mean, you can see most of this is going to be locked. This one goes up to level 28. And we have some others, goes up to level 35. So stuff like that. So we really can't get too much stuff at all. We can get some new line if we need to. Um, but let's take a look at the lures. So we could get a spinner if we needed to. That one is 85, 65, and then 50. So the hook size is 9 on that one. That one is 8. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and maybe buy that. We won't buy too much stuff. We'll get this though, just to kind of have something new. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, most of that's, un that's all locked. We could get a frog if we wanted to. Um, I don't think we'll get a frog just yet. That's locked, that's locked, all of that's locked. We could get a um, crankbait here. So let's go ahead and get one of these. So that one is a hook size of 9, hook size of 8, and then a hook size of 7. We'll do this one. It's a hook size of 9, just so we don't spend too much of our money. And then let's buy that. So yeah, we could get some more hooks and stuff, but I think we'll just move on now and continue to fish for a little while longer. I went ahead and made two setups. So we have our maiden rod with just a hook and worm on it. And then we have the greenhorn that is going to have like our spinner bait. Right now, I don't think we're going to use the spinners. I just went ahead and bought them. I'm going to have to take some time and actually get used to how they work and everything. So for the rest of the video, we're just going to do a little bit of fishing here with the um, bobber and worm or whatever we decide to put on it. But I did go ahead and get a boat just so that we could get out here into the water a little bit further. Let's go ahead and see what we can catch. And here we go. We are getting a bite. So we did get him and he doesn't seem to be much of a fighter whatsoever. So um, he's going to be just kind of right here. He's going to be getting reeled in pretty quickly. Um, doesn't seem like he'll be much of a big fish whatsoever. He is going to jump right there, though. Um, so we already got him in, and we just tossed him right over us. But there it is, another green stunfish. Um, got him with the blood worm. His score is 11. So I'll just keep taking these. We are going to get credits for each one that we catch. Um, and yeah, we'll go ahead and get him released. So I'll just probably move around quite a bit in the boat here. We'll use some other um, lures and stuff to see if we can get something else. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what else we can get. And here we go with another fish. So once again, not much of a fighter. Going to be probably like a sunfish or something. I um, mean, yeah, he definitely is a little guy just based off what we saw right there when he jumped out of the water. He's going to be pulled in very quickly here. So we'll get him and take a look at him. Um, so it's, yeah, it's going to be another sunfish. He is a silver though. So score 101. And that's actually our new best rank. So that's pretty cool. Um, we're going to be kind of ranking up our rods and stuff here. Getting the um, mastery stuff, even though it says 0%. So we haven't done anything with it. That is cool that it is our best one. So we got him off of the hot dog. Now, right now, I'm actually testing out the crankbait, so I'm doing the twitching motion here. You could do constant or twitching for the crankbait. Um, but yeah, so I'm just holding down Y, and it's just kind of twitching it for me. So we'll go ahead and see if maybe we can catch something on it. I don't know for sure. I guess we will, actually, right there. And we pulled it in immediately um, right there at the boat. So it's going to be a little black crappie. Um, nothing crazy about him, just a score of 11. But pretty cool that we actually caught something on that. I was hoping maybe we could. So... Yeah, his weight is 0.12 kg. He is not very big whatsoever. Time was three seconds since we caught him literally right there at the boat. Um, but we might actually back up a little bit and see if maybe we can try this out in some of the deeper waters. So let's get back into the boat and we'll fish a little bit longer. And there we go once again. Another one pretty close to the um, just the boat here. So we're going to see if we can get him. Might actually lower the drag just a bit. He is going to be a bit of a fighter. Um, and he keeps going out just a little bit further. He's at 10 meters right now. 
but now he's getting um, closer, so it looks like we do have him. Um, we might just put up a little bit more of a fight, so we'll just continue to kind of work with this guy and see if we can potentially get him. Um, we'll have to wait and see what he is going to be exactly. Can't necessarily see because the water is super murky right there. I've got the dragon in a good spot right here, and it seems like we pretty much have him. He is not going to be getting away from us. He is now just two meters away, or I said that, and now he's going to be getting away. Um, so let's just uh, raise it up a little bit more, and right now he's at 1.9. Um, okay, we can actually secure the catch. Did not see that. So there we have him, and that is going to be an Orrid Trout. So he is a silver. That's the first one of these that we've actually caught, and his score is 1180. So yeah, not bad. About a minute to actually try and catch him there, so that wasn't terrible. And we got him on the crankbait, so I'm actually really enjoying using the crankbait here. We'll go ahead and get him released, and that is really cool. We got a new species that we haven't caught yet. So I moved down just a little bit over here, like just around the bend. So let's catch a few more fish. I think we'll wrap things up after that. And yeah, let's see what we, what, see what we can get. And there we go with another strike. So this guy doesn't seem like he's going to be much of a um, fighter. Um, yeah, he's already pretty much right here at the boat. I lowered the drag just a little bit. And yeah, we can go ahead and secure him. So this guy, it's going to be another Orid Trout. This one is just a bronze. Um, score is 600. He didn't take nearly as long to catch. But still, I'm um, really cool that we're actually starting to catch stuff here on the crankbait. And yeah, I think we'll go ahead and see about getting maybe one more fish. And after that, we'll wrap things up. And I'm definitely going to start on um, playing this game a little bit more in my own time just to see if maybe we can get some really cool stuff. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and cast out one more time and see what we can get. And here we have another fish. So I did move down the lake just a little bit, and this was actually the first cast right here. Seems like it's going to be a little guy, and we didn't put up much of a fight at all. It is a Orid Trout, and he is a bronze, so score is 316. So we'll go ahead and throw him out, and that is pretty much going to do it here for this video. So I know I was pretty much all over the place, um, just because I'm still learning how to play the game and everything. It was my first time ever, obviously. Um, so I do apologize if I'm just kind of everywhere. But I really do hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more, let me know down in the comments. I don't know how many of these videos I'll do. Um, it might not be like every week. It might just be every once in a while. I do want to play, though, in my own time just to get some more experience. So I really do hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Do all that stuff. It really does help out the channel. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.